Hey guys, welcome back. Past few days we have seen a lot of Android P stuff on many phones and OnePlus also pushed a new Android P update to OnePlus 6 and it is in the form of Developer Preview 3. Installation process is same as manually flashing any ROM via local upgrade, transfer the ROM package to your phone's internal storage, go to settings, system updates, gear icon at the top right corner, local upgrade and pick the ROM package file and install it. Good thing is, compared to the previously released Android P beta builds, this build doesn't require wiping your storage to get the ROM boot. Just install the update via local upgrade and reboot your phone. I used DP3 for a while without wiping storage and I also tested the ROM with storage wiped but I did not notice any increase in stability. So you can install the update without wiping, test it for a while and if you face any issues, take backup, boot to the recovery by holding volume down and power button. Enter the lock pattern if you need to decrypt, select language, now go to wipe data and cache tab and first reset system setting and also erase everything and reboot your phone. So first let's go to settings, system, about phone, as you can see device name is oneplus6, Oxygen OS version is 5.1.0, OS version is android p with july security patch and the build date is july 12. About the changes compared to the previously released android p builds. Now we got an updated launcher. Although there are no new features when you slide to the left on the home screen, you can notice that the shelf has got its UI themed with a white background now and the updated launcher version is 3.0.0. Next we have updated recents and now the recents panel looks just like the one from Pixel Android P DP3. The tabs are bigger now and you can slide to the left or right to access other open tabs. The clear all button is just above the home button and you can swipe up to dismiss a tab and when you hit the three dot menu on any tab, there will be multiple options to lock that tab, open the tab in full screen mode, enable spread screen and also go to that specific app info. Next we have a new volume slider, it's the same google volume slider for android p and additionally within volume slider you can select media output which previously used to be under quick toggles. The quick toggles are same as stock but with less empty spaces between rows. When you slide down the quick toggles, the notifications get dismissed and you can only access the notifications when you minimize the quick toggles and rest everything seem to be same as before. This is a setting panel, Wi-Fi and internet tab. I did not face any issues be it with Wi-Fi or cellular network. BYLT works, video calling also works and sometimes the phone app might crash and in case if it does for you, go to that app info and clear the storage of that app. Bluetooth is fine now, connected to my bullets wireless and everything is fine, calls, music videos, whatever, everything is working fine. No issues with the alert slider, this is the display tab, adaptive brightness, night mode, reading mode, ambient display work fine and they also fix the notch display. Screen calibration works and just like the previous update, you can customize the accent colors. This is the battery tab, as you can see the last charge and screen usage details are missing and about charging, dash charging works. This is the utilities tab, same as before and when you go to the system tab, you can see that they have disabled android p gestures here but you can enable them manually by using this adb command and I also made a dedicated video on that in case if you wanna try this on your phone. And about issues with this ROM, although the ROM is fluid, sometimes you notice lag here and there especially with the launcher and when opening apps or tabs from the recent panel. And about recents, when you dismiss a single tab, you can see that clear all button is gone and for it to be back, you have to open the recent tab again or you can swipe up and down on a specific tab. The face unlock and fingerprint sensor work fine but there's an issue with the FP sensor. If you remove fingerprint unlock and try to register it again with the same finger, the system won't allow you to register, it just displays that the fingerprint is already registered. That's it about Android P DP3 on OnePlus 6. I've been using this ROM for about 2 days, it's stable compared to previous builds and if you are fine with the above mentioned issues, you can use this ROM as a daily driver. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon in my next video.